you should write your name before you play 18 holes of golf. And if you can make it look the same when you get back in, you've been round wrestling, not playing golf. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sl rigid slowness instead of supple quickness. Yes, and like that example you showed me one time, I could take my left hand and go right in front of you, and you couldn't tell me what my hand just did, could you? Because it moves faster than your eye can see. Yeah. Delighted. Watch that thumb. You can't see it, can you? I'm not even on. I mean, you can slow your. Boom. You can't see the thing. See, most everybody trying to take that thing like that and make a position here. I'm swinging through a position. The difference between swinging and through it, but I'm not that way. I'm going into that way. Yeah, you don't like a lot of pitchers you see at impact. They freeze that hand right there. Then you you stop, and when you put a break on the top, you're putting a break on the bottom. So it's just it's almost like just if I you. tried to make a change from the top to here, like you told me one time, it'd be like shooting a gun and trying to grab the bullet out of the other end, right? Right. That's how fast that thing moves right there. Right. Huh. Now you can hit it ball left-handed that way. But your hands got to do that to hit a ball left on that. And that. Hand me a ball. Okay. Now you you got to keep this the angle that you have here, there, there. Just go, and just hit it easy because your tendency to pull it, you want to let the. Oh. Now you you see huh? your arm pass the ball before the club. I want it to thumb to catch up with the radius. Look here, thumb radius and do that. Okay, do it easy, easy that way. Mm -hmm. Now, if your arm pulls it, you won't do that. Uh -huh. Now you, you hit it, it with a the nice club. little click, too, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you had a pendulum action through there instead of a drag. You think there's any hope for me? <laughs> I tell you, more, more hope for you than anybody in the business. <laughs> Boom. Now, you, you see, you didn't turn over. You didn't do this until after you hit the ball. Mm -hmm. Look here. When the thumb does this, look that. You have to do that to keep them blocking it. Okay. All right? Now, just do it easy. Don't try to do it hard. Now, you're not pulling that arm. You're shifting. Ah! Mm. All you felt is a pendulum move in the arm in a stationary position, right? Yeah. And this is a two-arm game, not a one-arm game, right? Yeah. But you have is to... Is this a good practice drill? It's a terrific drill because it teaches you how to apply energy to the club head. Mm -hmm. Instead of dragging it through you're swinging it through. You're swinging. You have to have a pendulum to swing. That it's like the club head moves a long ways, doesn't oh, it? Oh man, I'm just telling you, it's 240 degrees to the top of the back. Well, you know what? You told me a math equation one time. Yeah. Since we're dealing, you know, everything's dealing with with uh, kinetic energy. But if you took a circle, and you do a circle, and I, if I just set up to the ball and I didn't break my hands at all, I could move my arms and body. And shaft about what 300 degrees? You can't do it that way. You can't hardly do it. You know, you'd break it because you're not. You're blocking out. Your one arm has to shorten to take care of the space between the two arms. I know, but the point I'm trying to make is, is like if we're dealing with a circle, which is 360 degrees. Okay. If I didn't use my hands or elbows, I could take it about 300 yeah, degrees. Now your head's coming up off of the ball. Right, but if I took the same motion that we just talked about, and I, you know, set my hands 90 yeah. this way, and use the same thing. See, the club head is way back of your way back yeah. as it's supposed to be, like this. See, yeah. the club head. Yeah, now my arms different. hadn't moved back there. No, but my club yeah. head's moved back there. And yeah. then when I get over here, instead of being in this position, that club head. So really, I've kind of added 90 degrees. 180 degree, degrees. 180 degrees. Yes. So my body and arms are kind of working about this, 300 degrees. This, it's 150 degrees left arm back. After you hit the ball, right arm is 150 on the other side. Come back to 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock is behind you, six is at the ball. So that's why timing and tempo, you got to give the club head time enough to, to react, right? Yeah. Huh. See, and see, there's three forces that you have to contend with, or uh, three actions. When you are hitting a golf ball, you have a stimulus, you have a reaction and a response. Now, I'm getting a stimulus, understand? Mm -hmm. And the body is putting me in a position here, and you're getting a reaction here, then you get a response. The response is the release. Hmm. You see? So the stimulus, once we, it, it's it's, as soon as you As soon as you move that hip, un, uh, un, uncock your wrist. You, mm -hmm. See, look here. I'm not uncocked yet, am I? Mm -mm. 
This is one action, this is two action, and this is three action, and this is four. So a lot of times you'll see people, well, I'm casting the club. Yeah. But well, in the, essence, in they're essence, casting the club because they didn't move to the left leg. Yeah, it's really like an incorrect analysis yeah. when somebody does that because it's really not that bad of a deal if you're moving your pivot, right? Right. You have to do that. So if you look at here, are you telling me that if I if I shift to here and I shift here, there's no way I could ever cast a club? No, it'll That's always right. always catch up if I move to here, right? Yeah, it'll come come up there because it go back to neutral. Understand? Yeah. Quicker and more correctly than you can take it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hit it. Now count it. One, two, three. I guarantee that's at least, that must be out there at 230. What is that? It's five iron. Five iron. 230 yards, five iron. You know? Is that up and, okay? Oh, it's wonderful. When your geometry is correct, when your plane is correct, and you've got control of the blade, you can make it do anything you want. You can you make it go any way you want it to go, just with your hands. Mm -hmm. Understand? All right? All right. I'm going to count it. You start now. One, two, three. One, two, three. And a lot of people like to hit a driver that far. The well, average tour hits a drive about 2.30, and you're hitting a five iron where they're hitting a drive. Mm -hmm. And you're not using very much more energy than they are, but you're using it more, more correctly. Mm -hmm. All right. No, you, no, when you went down this time, you mm -hmm. hit that. I felt it. You didn't move into that convex position with your left tip and then on this bias position with your right. Okay, yeah. your head right. dropped. I hit one more shot, I'm ready. Okay. Mm. Ooh. All right. Excellent. Okay, now what, do we hit some shots? Now I want you to, to do this for me. All right. Now that's, a, that's taken, a long swing in one, two, three. Right. Now, if you take a pendulum, and, and I want you to take a pendulum action, take the club shaft to the horizontal. Mm -hmm. No, just one hand, just take it that okay, way. Right here. Now, I'm going, I'm going to do something with this club. Now, that's horizontal to the ground. Right. Now, hold it just like that, and when I drop it, I'm going to count 1,001. That club head will stop when I get to 1,001. Look here. 1001. Now that's coming from here to there, just from the pull of gravity. Understand? Mm -hmm. Now, that travel is going to be from right here, it's be a shorter arc, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's going to take the same length of time. Okay. 1001. Now, drop it from right here. 1001. Isn't that funny? Huh. That's, that's where they make a clock. Pendulum on the clock. Now, right there, 1001. So it takes one full second for it to get on this side. Yeah, from that side. 1001. 1001. Now, when you're hitting soft, you know, partial shots, you're not having as much arc, but it's still taking the same amount of time. It's the same amount of time. Huh? Yeah. Let me have it. Give me a. Give me a pitching wedge or something. What do you have there? Five There's one right there. Yeah. yeah. Now, understand if, if I want to change forces, now you change forces by that amount of arc, or this amount of arc, because it's going to go from here to there, it's increasing speed, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. So, when you take it back, and you're going to hit an easy shot, you just don't take it back as far. Hmm. Huh? So you just kind of dial it in, huh? <laughs> yeah. You, you're letting that pendulum <laughs> swing and trying to swing that way, you know? Will you do that? 
Yeah. Oh, see, it's the degree of pivot and arm separation from the ball and the cock of the hands so that you're still going to a 90 degree cock. You once told me that, that your muscles and nerves are like wild animals and you got to train them. That's right. So it, take, it does take a great deal of practice along with. So we're just going to take it. Yeah, you feel that club head flopping into the ball, don't you? Just take it and... Oh. That's right. Huh? Mm-hmm. So you can have what they call soft hands, right? Mm-hmm. But this is basically the essence of the golf swing right there, isn't it? Right. It's that pendulum motion. That's Not... Right. Uh, uh. No. Boy, you can move that club head a long ways oh. without moving the arm. Did you know what? Huh? And you take that little motion right there and you add your pivot and you got it, right? Right. More pivot, more arc. You understand? Right? Mm-hmm. This is how you determine length of shot and height. Yeah. yeah. See, you took a big... That was a bigger shot, yeah. Yeah. Now, could I have some of that? Yeah. Go ahead and head it. Now, now you see, you swung the club head. You haven't swung your arms, have you? Mm-mm. The arms move the same speed as the body, right? Right. They don't go... <clears throat> no. But then, go back here. The shoulder blade is pulling it back there. You understand? Mm-hmm. 